You are now watching Tales from the Grid. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Tales from the Grid. In this episode, I'll be discussing the Hasbro Super 7 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Ultimate Figures Wave 3. This wave includes alternate heads, hands, weapons, and individual accessories. These figures are available for pre-order through Super 7 and other websites for prices ranging from $45 to $65. From the product pictures, the Rangers look good. They look very detailed, from the helmets to the morphers to the seams on the boots. I like the extra black Ranger items such as Zack and Adam's heads, the dragon shield, and the ice device. The same can be said for Billy as they included blue Ranger items such as the alternate Billy head, the shorter power lances, and the anti-sonic foam gun. Thank goodness the power sword is visually show accurate. Other companies would make the sword all gray and treat it as an afterthought. The Megazord is very close to being show accurate. The hands are the only problem for me because I interpret the hands as being more blocky and black or dark gray. From these pictures, these hands look silver. I wish they would have included a set of alternate hands that were black or at least darker. The Metal Megazord Power Coin is also a welcomed addition to this figure. The Lord Zed figure also came out well. It's nice to see that the designers put effort into the details of the muscles. I'm also happy to see that his knuckles and fingertips have their armor on them unlike the Hasbro version. The throne is a cool accessory and is big, detailed, and may have some good weight to it but at $45, you can basically get another figure. Finster is designed really well. This may be the most highly designed figure in this whole wave. You can see the level of detail with his wrinkles, fluffs of hair, his fingers, the texture of his apron, his jewelry, his tools, and even his own clay figures. This figure is definitely worth the price. All of these figures came out great, especially Finster. I can't wait to add some of these to my collection. I've seen some people online not too pleased that Lord Zed is taller than the Rangers because in the show he was around their height. Personally, I don't really mind, but to each their own. Thank you for tuning into another episode of Tales from the Grid, and until next time, have a good one.